and welcome to the Wishing Shed. Just a quick little video today showing you how to make this miniature working Victorian style street lamp. I really hope you enjoy. To make this Victorian street lamp you're going to need a few basic supplies that you most likely have laying around in your craft room. So just take a wooden skewer and trim off the bottom using an old pair of scissors. Then measure around five inches and chop again. Then use a nail file just to smooth the top and the bottom. Use an awl tool or an old pair of scissors to make a hole in the middle of a wood slice. So paint your wooden skewer using some acrylic paint or you can use black marker to colour it in. Cut out the base and top sections of your lantern from, um, I'm just using stiff black felt fabric, which again, you can find readily online, or you may already have some. If not, you could use black card. Once the pole of your lantern is dry, just gonna glue that in place. For the light section, I've just taken some ordinary mini battery operated tea lights and I've cut that to just four little lights. Okay, we're going to wrap our lights tightly around the wooden skewer. This just brings the bulbs closer together and gives a brighter light to the top of the lantern rather than just using one bulb. And just pull that off. Cut a little line just to the middle of your lantern's base. Now you want to thread a small length here of black wire up through the base of your lantern and we're going to anchor the light in place. So just go through, anchor it around, just push through the wire and go back through the other side, a little bit fiddly this bit. So you may find it easier to use an awl tool to make a hole in the base of the wire to go through first, it's a little bit fiddly. And then you pull that wire so that it anchors the light in place. And you have two lengths at the bottom, like so. So turn that on, so we just make sure in and then these extra lengths of wire at the bottom are going to help to secure I uh, will tie them around just to keep it all in place a bit later on but first let's finish making the top of our glass lantern and to make the glass of the lantern I'm just using some old packaging then use a paper template to carefully cut out four glass sections the same size and shape. Just try and get them as even as you can and then they'll glue together better. And once that's dry, we carefully glue these edges together. And here I've just got some uh, thin strips of ordinary black felt fabric or fabric glue. Don't need much. And we can glue that in place and let dry. So if you want to, um, you can keep the top of your glass lantern plain, maybe just add a little black bead or something for detail, but I decided I wanted to give it a bit more of a raised top. So I'm measuring out a bit of polymer clay and just going to cut that, use a knife to carefully shave off around the edges like so. As you 
can see it raises up like so. And then just pushing a little bit of wire into the middle and I'm going to carefully take this off the paper now and bake that in the oven for around 20 minutes. Once your polymer clay is um, baked, you can just paint that black. Okay, now we can just pop a little bead on top of the wire and you want to pinch that over. Okay, now we're just going to glue the top of our lantern to the glass section. Glue the glass section to the base of the light. And I decided I wanted to add a bit more felt around the base there just to neaten it up. extra just around the top as well. On refraction I decided to add little bits of yellow wool to the lantern before inserting the light just to give a more natural effect to the look of the flame. Right so now you want to add a dab of strong craft glue to the top of the pole Glue that in place, then twist the exposed wire from the base of the lantern that we made earlier around the top of the pole. So to help hide the wire from the lights around the pole and to keep the wire in place around the pole, you want to take a bit more thin craft wire and I'm just wrapping that with some green coloured cardio ball. I decided to add just a splash of like lighter greens here and there just um, for a little bit of contrast and then also you can add little um, splashes of red for the effect of some berries. we made earlier you want to use a little bit of green craft wire or you can use um, just a little bit of ordinary wire and we're going to attach that to the cord of the lights just to hide the wire that's exposed in them so just a couple of times wrap that round cut to length and do that in a few places just to secure the holly in place on the wire. Another way to hide the cord of the lights would be to wrap some green carded wool around it directly and needle felt into place. And once that's all in place you can just wrap that around the pole. Lastly, you just want to glue some white carded wool on top of the wood slice base. And that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, we'll see you back here soon.